Hi there, this is Harry and welcome back to Advanced English Lessons with Harry where I try to help you to get a better understanding of the English language. In our Advanced English lesson today we're looking at advanced expressions that we can use in daily use. And with these advanced expressions you're going to be able to improve your vocabulary and your English speaking. Okay, so I have 10 of them in total and I'll go through them one by one. To take something for granted. Well, you can also take someone for granted. To take something for granted is to assume that it's going to happen or to assume that it will always be there. So we often use it in the negative. We shouldn't take it for granted that. So what should we not take for granted? We shouldn't take it for granted that the government will always be there to help us when there are problems with fuel costs or other energy costs. We shouldn't take it for granted. The government might announce that people shouldn't take it for granted that the government are going to step in and pay the difference. So perhaps we have to cut back on our spending. So we shouldn't take it for granted. Sometimes we take people for granted. Our parents, we take them for granted because they're always there when we need them. And then when they're not, what do we do? Yeah, we're feeling a little bit sad or sorry. So taking something for granted means to assume that it's always going to be there, it's never going to change. And of course, we all know as we get a little bit old, older, the world does change and we should never take anything for granted. Next, having said that, this is an expression we use when we are talking about something and we want to give some information, usually contrasting, yeah? Okay, so for example, we could be talking to people and say, okay guys, I think we need to get ready for a really difficult time over the next few months. Having said that, the sales in the year to date have been really good. I've been quite surprised. So we are warning people that the next few months might be difficult. But having said that, we're just going to give them a little bit of a boost by telling them that the sales in the year to date have actually been much more promising than we had originally expected. Okay, so so when we you having said that, it's a way of introducing another point that might be in contrast to the point that we have already or we have just made. Okay, so you might say, well, guys, we're going to work a little bit longer and harder. Perhaps we might have to do some uh, overtime. However, having said that, I would like to remind you that we will still honor all holidays and anybody who's got some annual leave to take, of course, we won't interfere with that. We're not going to ask you to cancel the holidays. But, you know, when you are working, we may be in the situation that we have to work a little longer and a little harder. Okay, so having said that. To have something in mind. Well, when we have something in mind, it's a suggestion that we want to make. It's an idea that we have that we want to raise or introduce, or it's some information that we want to give some people. Okay, so you might be talking to your partner, your wife, your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, and there's some issue with the kids in the school and you're trying to discuss what you should do next and your partner might turn to you and say well have you something in mind have you got something to suggest and you say well actually yes i do what i think we should do is go down and talk to the head teacher or talk to the class teacher and try and clear the air yes to to have something in mind now it might be just a simple suggestion you're making for the weekend yeah oh i think we should go out on saturday or sunday you know the weather forecast is really really good so why don't we go somewhere oh that'd be a great idea do you have something in mind so do you have somewhere that you would like to suggest or a place we haven't been before or perhaps a place we have been that we liked and we can go back there so do you have something in mind on the point of Okay, so on the point of it is means you're just about or you were just going to do something, to say something, to do something, to go somewhere on the point of. Okay, so perhaps you are working uh, late and you're looking at your watch and it's time to go home and you begin to clear your desk and you're just about to switch off your computer when you get a knock on the door and somebody sticks their head around the door and said, ah, have you got 
10 minutes I just wanted to talk to you well I was just on the point of wrapping up for the day and leaving but if it's quick yes certainly come in and we'll have a talk okay so I was just on the point of leaving or I was just on the point of going home yeah or you get you're sitting down and your phone buzzes and you pick up the phone and it's your partner he said ah I was just on the point of calling you you got to me first yeah look I'll be there in 10 minutes if you're waiting outside the office I'll just pull up outside on the street and you can jump in and we can head home together. Yeah? Okay, so I was just on the point of calling you. Okay, so it's all about you know, something you were just about to do or you're in the process of doing and so you, you were just on the point of calling, you were just on the point of going, you were just on the point of sending. You might get an email on your laptop and when you open it, it's from a customer looking for some report or something you had promised and you send a quick reply. I was just on the point of sending it when I got your email. Please find attached the document or the information that you had requested. Okay, so on the point of. Keep an eye on. Well, we can keep an eye on somebody or something. Can you keep an eye on the soup it, in case it boils over and just have to run to the the shop and get some bread to so keep an eye on the soup don't let it boil over don't let it burn can you keep an eye on the kids they're out in the garden there that they're, they're okay but just in case something happens I, i'll i'll be upstairs changing the bed clothes okay so please keep an eye on somebody the kids please keep an eye on something keep an eye on the soup we should keep an eye on the weather. It looks like it's going to get a little bit wet later on. So perhaps we, we might need to think of something indoors to plan for the weekend. So if the weather's going to be bad. There's no point heading out for our usual weekend cycle. So we'll keep an eye on the weather forecast to see what is expected or what's the forecast to be. Okay, to keep an eye on. By no means. Well, we often use this expression, by no means certain that. It is by no means certain that the team is going to survive this year because, wow, they've had a really bad run in the last few weeks. And if they keep playing this way, well, I think they're going to be in a relegation fight by the end of the season. So it's by no means certain that they are safe. It's by no means certain that I'll get that promotion Okay, the boss is going to support me and he's told me it's as good as mine, but huh, we all know what can happen. You know, people can change their minds, something can happen, blah, de, blah, de, blah. Yeah, so it's by no means certain that. It's by no means certain that we'll get through this winter without any problems because, you know, inflation is increasing, the energy costs are high, so everybody's going to have a problem. So it's by no means certain that we're going to have a a, a good or as enjoyable winter as perhaps we've had in the past. Turn out to be. Well, things can turn out to be. They can turn out to be a little different than we expected. Or things can turn out to be great. Ah, that meal has turned out to be wonderful. I mean, you know, you haven't cooked it before and uh, wow, it was really tasty and it looked and smelled and tasted like a professional so really really well done it's great it's turned out to be a really good idea yeah to get the family together once a month or get the family together at the weekends yeah to turn out to be the weather has turned out to be great yeah the forecast was for lots and lots of rain and for there to be wind but wow today is, is wonderful we don't even need those heavy jackets we bought but it's it's uh, it's really nice yeah so it's uh, turned out to be better than I expected. Or if you're doing some renovation or redecorating in your, your home and uh, when uh, you get everything done and all the paintings hanging again and your friends come around to see it, they say, whoa, wow, that really changes the room. It really looks great. So you can, you can smile and say, yeah, it's turned out to be really good. I wasn't expecting it to be so good, but just a few little finishing touches and yeah, those colors really go well together so turn out to be contrary to popular belief well, this is a really well used expression so we can use it in many many ways contrary to popular belief means going against what the popular pe people think or the the popular thought of people yeah so 
contrary to popular popular belief, our president or prime minister is actually quite a hard-working individual. People are always moaning and groaning, but you know the guy has done really great things since he came into power. I mean, we've introduced better quality buses, better quality public transport, the school system is working well, there's no more strikes, you know, so contrary to popular belief, he's turned out to be a much better president or prime minister than anybody had ever expected, okay? Contrary to popular belief, the manager of the, the football team has really made a difference to this team. When he took over, the team were near the bottom of the division. But look at them now, they're mid-table and looking up rather than looking down. So contrary to popular belief, he's turned out to be quite a godsend, quite a influential and good person, people manager, yeah? contrary to popular belief. Or we can say it in a slightly joking manner. You know, people think you can't cook. So, oh, Harry, useless. You know, don't let him near the kitchen. It's a disaster. But contrary to popular belief, I actually can cook pretty well when I have the time. And when people have tasted what I've cooked, they go, whoa, that's, that's nice. That's a surprise. So yeah, contrary to popular belief, I can actually cook. To be taken aback. This is a little bit more formal. To be, when we're taken aback, we are surprised, okay? When to be taken aback, we are surprised in a negative way by what has been said or something that has happened. I was really taken aback by the company announcement that they were going to cut over a thousand jobs. I mean, that's 50%, half of the workforce. Wow, I mean, what are those people going to do? It's not a good time to be looking for a job. So to be taken aback is to be taken by surprise, but usually in a negative way. I was taken aback by their reaction. Everybody was so negative, yeah? I was taken aback by the view of the, the city when I visited there. I, I thought it was going to be really modern and uh, you know really up to scratch and at the same level as other cities that I'd visited, but wow, it was really dark, dull, depressing, poor. So I was really taken aback when I arrived there. I won't be going there again in a hurry. Yeah? So to be taken aback means to be negatively surprised. And then finally, keep in touch. This is quite common and quite easy to use. Keep in touch is an expression we use every day. You know, please keep in touch, meaning please let me know how things are going. We should keep in touch. So, you know, a little hint, but don't leave it so long. The next time, yeah, or I'll keep in touch with you and I'll let you know if there are any developments. So this is just different ways to tell people whether we will contact them, but don't wait for the, the message. I'll contact you when there's something to be said or, you know, please keep in touch. You really want somebody to keep contacting you or I'll be in touch later. I'll keep in touch with you when things develop. So you're just letting them know that you will tell them, but it's not going to be immediate. Okay, so to keep in touch. Okay, so there are 10 well-used, well-known daily expressions, okay? And they're uh, at that advanced level, so you can try and practice them, drop them into your conversations, see how, how you get on, make sure you understand them. So here they are. Take something for granted. Take something for granted. Having said that, having said that, have something in mind have something in mind, on the point of, to keep an eye on, by no means, turn out to be, contrary to popular belief, contrary to popular belief, to be taken aback, taken aback, and then finally, Keep in touch, keep in touch. And as always, you know the drill. If there's something in particular that you want more information on, just come back to me and I'll, I'll give you some other examples. Okay, I really, really appreciate you watching this uh, video and uh, looking on in the, the lesson. And I look forward to joining you again soon when we have another lesson. It's Harry saying goodbye for now.